Mo. I'm Heather. I'm Jennifer. And we're, we're having, having the, the Sex Talk! So today, we are here with the authors of Sexy Feminism, a really exciting book that you should probably go buy. Maybe for your Kindle, if you want to save trees. Hello. Thank you Hi. for having us. Yes. Um, tell me your full name. Heather Wood Rudolph. Jennifer Cation Armstrong. Okay. So, one of the things we wanted to talk today about is... Why is it important to have men in the feminist movement, and what are they good for? And mm. what is their role? We're actually huge fans of involving men. First of all, Heather and I both <laughs> happen to love the men in our lives, and we like a lot of other men as well. And um, some men yeah. are really men are awesome. fantastic. And you know, also, we're 50% of the population, they're the other 50%. So if we want to get over half, you know, right. in behind the feminist that cause. That seems important. You know, right. um, and right. the fact is that it's feminism is really wonderful for men. Yes. Yeah. You know, we've talked about how feminism is great in the bedroom. Yeah. And so they win, right? Because not only are we more fun in the bedroom because of feminism, because we feel free to express our needs, but also, you know, things like reproductive rights, right. where we can all have sex without worrying as much about the Absolutely. real consequences. Yeah, men, we talk all the time how men should be out there they rallying be the first ones. for reproductive <laughs> rights really before women. Yeah. So there's so many studies that prove that whether it's in the workplace or in relationships or um, really every facet of our lives, the closer we are to equality, the happier and more fulfilled everyone is. Everybody. Because right. everyone right. right. nobody has guilt, nobody is yeah. feeling like right. they're left out. You know, right. so right. when the, the gender binary hurts everyone, right? right? So men could feel free to stay home with their children yes. when they want to. Not if feel we had... stigmatized because of right. it. Right. Yes. You know, and it's, Absolutely. It's, the feminism can benefit both sexes by not placing such importance on these really small facets of what it is to be a human. You know? Yeah. We right. can share these roles, we can share these responsibilities. <clears throat> and I, think it's, I think it's so important because one thing that comes up for me when you guys talk about this is this concept of when a woman gets pregnant and she holds all of the rights yes. to whether or not she has a child, to whether or not she tells the man that he's a father. And a lot of times the man gets sort of kicked to the side, kicked to the curb. It's sure. in the event like she doesn't want to tell him or mm -hmm. she decides to have an abortion without him mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And it's important, I think, therefore, for men to get involved because sure. they are 50% of the baby making process. Yeah, absolutely. Right? It doesn't happen without you guys, right. so get involved so that these types of things don't roll you over. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. By right. not taking a stance and by by not giving women their reproductory rights, you do essentially, I think, get gypped out of yours yep. in right. the end. We all, we all have reproductive rights, essentially, right. and, you know, we should be 50-50 on everything, and if men were you know, sanctioned to be more involved with their children's lives, they might be able to actually legitimately claim right, more right, of right. those rights as well. And feel more involved with yeah. your child's life once it's born. Because I mean, I know yeah. that's another issue. For sure. It's a whole nother, you know, topic yeah. or a whole nother episode that men don't feel involved no. in the attachment phase when the child is first born. And, and then the, for the rest of your lives, by the way, I mean, I think a lot of us our age, you know, have fathers who didn't know they were supposed to be involved and mm -hmm. so are always scrambling to keep mm -hmm. up you know i think our generation is very attuned or very comfortable with the fact that men were sort of became our fathers later yeah they're like ancillary yes. 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 yes yes you know so there's a really important point i think about reproductive rights and abortion in particular pro feminists and you know pro-choice activists etc we're not like Yay, abortion! They're Super fun! Awesome. Let's all get them! Let's get them! Oh, no, but yeah, it's, it's not a let's, let's just have <laughs> sex and then have abortions yeah. kind of thing we're no talking about. No one wants to. Oh, I God. feel like we talk about yeah. this, this assumption. Nobody wants to end up with an abortion. So no. we need access to birth control, access, access to sex education yeah. for starters in schools yes. across the nation. And, and on the web. And on right, the web. And on the right, web. Right. And for men and women to be equally accountable. Yep. You know, on a lighter note, I feel like, <laughs> well, not that light. I feel like because so many, because of feminism, a lot of young men now 
are so different because sure. the feminists who have raised them have yes. raised them with the idea oh, yes. of equality that mm -hmm. they don't have to fit into gender roles. Yeah. And when I see this younger generation of men, I get all choked yes. up because yeah. they're yes. beautiful people yes. who yes. really respect women a lot of the time. Yes. And that's that's what feminism can do. And self-expression too, right? Like we see, we tend to own as females a lot of the just right. like the adornment stuff like that sometimes we're like oh that's bad mm -hmm. as feminists we're like oh we don't want to wear makeup or be into fashion or whatever um men should be allowed to be doing that too and it's really fun sometimes yeah, i want to add another thing Straight about men, men yeah, that you sure. said a lot of men now raised by feminists that are very more in tune to feminism mm -hmm. and egalitarianism mm -hmm. Do it, but not at the cost of your masculinity. Because yeah. your masculinity yeah. is beautiful too. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Feminine does feminism does yeah. not mean get rid of that yeah. masculine absolutely. manism that you yeah. that is genuine. If you to are a you. heterosexual woman, we're attracted to that. We yeah. like that, right? Yeah. 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 We do. Chicks and I think it. chicks dig it regardless because yeah. we appreciate it when there is a true masculine energy. It's also mm -hmm. physiologically but, just inherent yeah. Yeah. in us. Uh, yeah. 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 Like yeah. If that's what you're into, yeah. it's what you're into. But the masculine energy that suppresses feminine energy is not what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Right. It's a masculine it's, yeah. energy that is authentic and genuine to you. We encourage you to embrace it, but we also want you to be in tune to the feminine yeah. issues as well. I, th here's the thing. Feminism means that you believe in equality for the sexes right. and you respect women as equals. That's all it that's means. It. That's all it it means. doesn't mean you're a wimp. It doesn't mean that you are not masculine. It doesn't mean you think women should win no right True. so um men feminism yay fucking awesome yes fucking awesome. do it and do it good do it do it do it good. <laughs> do it uh that was the sex talk the sex, sex talk, talk.